When I first started with GBG uh, training, I was working with other athletes. That's what I do love about it. Uh, most elite athletes in the world, Spencer Dinwiddie, Drew Holiday, uh, Anthony Davis at the time. A lot of great athletes uh, train with this guy, obviously, and he's the best. So uh, he puts us in uh, groups, in small groups, and we uh, work well together. Uh, we challenge each other. And being at the elite level, uh, you need other elite athletes to push you. So uh, that's, that's you know, unmatched with uh, what he's doing in the summertime with the guys and athletes that he trains. He pushes me to the, to the extreme max. 36 years old, I need to be pushed this way. Everything I can do as far as to get ahead and stay ahead of the game, Mike G adds that to my game. And it's also something new every time. You know, I've got to get bored with the process. I don't want to come in and do the same thing I did last week or even the week before. So every time I work out with Mike G or GBG, it's always something new. Not a lot of strength and conditioning coaches can put you on the table and get you going. So the activation part, which is about 45 minutes, depending on obviously what's going on in my body, is a big uh, plus, I would say, that you bring to the table. Get to the weight room, it's probably about maybe a 15, 20 minute warm up. We'll probably be in a full blown sweat, like, like we just got out of a sauna. And then you'll start the workout. Uh, you'll go through a 45 minute workout, and then you'll tell me it's just the beginning, you're just exhausted. He does a great job of motivating you, getting you through the next steps. That's part of also being a great strength coach, knowing how to motivate his guys, knowing how to get you through a, a tough workout, and also knowing when to back off. You know, some guys would just try to burn you out, but if you're feeling tired, he sees fatigue, you know, he'll probably, he won't lighten the reps, but uh, he might cut down some sets. He's really big in particular on each individual athlete on what they need to become the best version of themselves. I try to surround my life with people that are great, people that inspire me, people that are wiser than me, so I can also bring up to them and give as much knowledge as I can give them as well. It's a circle that I build that's pretty proud of. And I want to continue to grow as an athlete, as a player, as a person, as a father, every aspect of my life.